you guys. <clears throat> Walking into the hall. First weekend of SBL. Come joining my little journey. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good weekend. This was our first match against Wenson, where Oli Cornish faced off against uh, Chris Cockburn, and he managed to get a good first win, set up um, our first point on the board, and get us 1-0 up um, against them. Unfortunately, um, our number two, Adam Dennison, uh, lost quite close, a close three one to oh, yeah. Lauren Charles. Um, very good, very good woman, very good woman. One of the best women in England, uh, he lost. Okay, so this was my first match against Wayne Mason. Um, he was a left-handed player. Uh, he had quite tricky serves. I um, struggled with them quite a bit actually during the match, and uh, I had won this match three two, but it was very like quite tight. Um, you know how first matches can be sometimes. My first time playing SBL as well. Um, <laughs> nerves were kicking in a little bit. I uh, didn't want to disappoint the team, um, but I'm glad I'm, I got the first win. So my tactics were mainly around playing with my pendulum serve because I'm in this left handers seem to struggle i mean it's because opposite spin so when they receive with their forehand side um it is going to pop up a little bit especially if i have more backspin side spins and stuff and then i was trying to get in as much as possible as well uh, whether it was with a counter or just a regular top spin um he did have some weird sort of side spin ball he always did um sometimes when it was high he would come and fade it really wide um, instead of just <laughs> hitting it past me, which I found kind of kind of uh, unorthodox, it's quite strange at times. Um, but yeah, once I um, got the lead, I just tried to maintain it, stay up, stay up on him. Um, in an open rally, I felt like I was a stronger player, uh, just because my strokes are quite quite big and quite strong. Um, so I was just trying to make sure we get into an open rally, and um, yeah, that was literally it. Uh, I did make quite a few unforced errors at times uh, during the two set um, during the sets leading up to the fifth and I think that's what caused it to be so close but um, again I just tried to exploit him a bit more with my long serves sometimes short sometimes long um, and yeah that was literally it <laughs> After my win, um, we had Owen Brown win his, and then it followed up by a good win um, where Oli Cornish managed to beat Lauren in a, in a quite quite a tight game actually. It ended up being three one, um, but yeah, Cornish just proved too consistent, and you know, the guys got the backhand, got the hands, man. That's it.
So this is my second match against Chris Cockburn. Uh, me and him had played earlier this year um, in county championships, and I'd actually won three two, like I think it was like eleven nine or something like that. Um, I wasn't used to the sort of style where it's more about you know um, he's very much just gonna play passively, like pass the ball back, push long, let you attack first. Um, which is actually not bad for my game because that's actually why I want. I want to get in first. I want to get my big shots in. But um, I guess at the time I wasn't as comfortable. Uh, this time I felt a lot, lot better. Like it felt very easy to just go, go at him and attack every ball. Um, it was quite like, yeah, social scene was quite, quite normal. Like I didn't feel pressure from them too much. And yeah. There was a moment where I did um, lose a bit of concentration. Uh, it's going to be coming up soon where I think I hit a shot that was a bit too good and I got a bit too, too, too happy. Um, and I tried to go for more, but yeah, I, I lost concentration for one set and then it ended up going 2-1. Uh, managed to recoup and get everything back and then, um, yeah, I managed to win this match at 3-1. So, uh, yeah, that was my match against Chris Cockburn. Fun player. I really like playing stuff like this. Um, yeah. So the day got started on pretty well. I won my first two matches. Um, and the team won of Raw 7-1. As you can see the score sheet now. Uh, Oli won two, Adam won one, I won two, and Owen won two. So we managed to beat Wensum 7-1. And we're gonna move on to the next match. Uh, here's our next m first match um, against Mon King with John Smith and Oli. Cornish, uh, Oli went, um, he managed to win his match 3-1, uh, I think he went 1-1 one, one, and then he managed to just get by him, uh, very consistent, just kept balls on the table really, um, playing more towards Kieran's backhand and yeah, Oli was finding quite, quite a big advantage, so yeah, we won this first game and then Oli took us 1-0 up. Unfortunately, Adam Adam lost um, to his little brother, Joe Dennison. Joe Dennison's playing some incredible table tennis right now. One of the, the higher ranked players in um, England as of right now as well. So, not a bad loss at all. Here's my third match against um, Takuya Naki, a Japanese player, a pen holder, left-handed. I immediately started thinking this is this is just Shushin, but Japanese. <laughs> um, this was a very interesting match, I'll be honest. I went 1-0 uh, up, um, not comfortably, but like it was okay, not, not too bad. I don't think he'd adjusted to my serves and, and receives just yet. And I was managing to dominate him in a rally, so I was picking up quite a few easy points here and there. Um, so yeah, I went 1-0 up quite comfortably and then I ended up going 2-0 up um, afterwards. Uh, that's when he started adapting a little bit better, I have to give it to him. He changed up the serves a little bit more, started serving a, a little less purely half long and long and a little bit more short, making me, um, I wasn't playing too good so I, I was actually pushing along too much and he started blocking a bit a bit more funny like some of these blocks were a bit like awkward I need to get back and I think I started playing a bit passive uh, momentum switched and then he managed to pick up um, the third set against me uh, quite close actually it was I think it was 11-7 uh, or 11-8 um, yeah he managed to take it off me so fourth set I said okay cool let me regather myself and um, I should be able to win this match 
Well, I think <laughs> I was still in my head a little bit and I was missing a bit <clears throat> a bit too much. So I, I thought maybe change tactics, go from pendulum to maybe backhand serves. Uh, just just change it up, make him, make him have to receive something different, look at something different. So he has to think about something new. Um, I had my opportunity to take the fourth set and unfortunately I did make a couple of unforced errors at the close, close moments. Um, right here I lost, I uh, missed that, that third wall, 9-8. 9-9-9, he did pretty good point in, just that that just happened now. So that happened and then fifth set comes around and I find myself, I'm 6-0 down. Um, I was really struggling at this point, I was thinking let me just let me let me gather myself like i was just like just just play your shots that's that's literally what i said just stop playing your shots have confidence in your game um like here you're gonna see me just, I'm pissed <laughs> i should have been opening up those balls but i said it's okay let's, let's continue um table tennis is like that's up and down so just regather my thoughts play the mental side and um should be okay so i managed to manage to come back actually um i was 10 7 down here I managed to win five points in a row and then take this match free too. Um, you guys can see the last few points now. After my match against the Japanese guy, we had Owen Brown and Matt Evans who fouled it out onto the fifth. Very close game. And Matt Evans just managed to get by Owen. Um, very, very close. This uh, was quite a big tie up. Um, lucky enough, we had our number one, Oli, managing to take out Joe Dennison um, quite, in quite a comfortable fashion. It was, um, a 3 0. Um, Oli paid really well. Just took him off. Yeah. And here was my fourth match against Kieran Smith, uh, number two from. I forget this team's name again. Why am I forgetting their name? Against Milton Keynes, this was the number two. Um, very good player. Uh, very Quite good on both wings, uh, like strong forehand, strong backhand. I felt like I was actually um, a little bit better in the service and receive department, especially myself. I felt like I was getting quite like advantage, some advantages I wanted, but um, I couldn't capitalize on it, unfortunately, this match. Um, First set, I managed to scrape by and win it. I'm back, win 11-9. Second set was quite close, but I was always starting like three or four nil down, um, just making simple errors at the start. And then I have to like climb my way back. Um, he did play well as well. I have to give it to him. He, he did neutralize some of my strengths at times. That like, kept me away from just open rallies. And then he was also soft block um, quite a few times as well, just to change up the pace, which I wasn't used to because once I'm out, I'm out. But sometimes it would soft block and make me come back in and then I wasn't completely adjusted to it. Um, so I was missing the ball outright sometimes. But um, still, I was trying to fight back. I managed to come back here as well. Uh, see how you won 8-7 up. Um, but yeah, he, he held well. He did his thing. Um, managed to, yeah, take the games, take the games when it was crucial. Um, I'll also say he was—he had a quite a good like, short surf to the forehand that he did every now and then, and uh, I was struggling as well at times um, with that receive because I, I I would like to ideally sometimes come and flip, but he was just making me push, um, and I guess I lost a bit of confidence during open rallies too because I was like starting to lose my timing, I was missing um, like some some balls I, I feel like I should be getting on the table. I probably going to my head a little bit. So, um, yeah, momentum wasn't so good in this match. Uh, I was always just fighting back. And 
yeah, that's it. he managed to take a pass from Ashley. That's literally it. Um, he played well. Lucky enough, uh, my team still came in clutch. Um, I had 1 1, Owen 1 1, and Oli managed to win two big wins from him. Um, and we managed to scrape by and get a draw against um, Milton Keynes, which actually had a very, quite a very strong team. Um, so, yeah, that's our weekend. Just finished the match. Uh, we won. 7-1? Seven, 7-1. One. Seven, one. <laughs> we won 7-1 <seven, one laughs> against... I forgot the team's name. I no forget the team's name. No, no, no. We won 7-1 against you, bro. Winsome. We beat Wensom 7-1. And we just drew with Wensom. Big man. Oh, no, no, we drew with Milton Keynes. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what I said. We, and we drew... <laughs> we drew again. with Wensom 4-4. Four, four. Big man Owen Brown here. Got the big W. Um, big stuff. Yeah. Any last words, bro? Thank, thank you. Thank you for that. That was huge. That was huge. So one win, one draw for the day. Tomorrow we've got two two strong sides. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay updated. Stay updated. That's garbage. I'm 